Yeah, Briley, with you being so new, obviously this rivalry is a little bit new to you. I'm sure you've heard a lot about it from your teammates. I was just curious uh, what they've built it up to be and what you expect on Saturday. Yeah, um, you know, I'm, I expect their best game. Uh, you know, we've, we've seen, I mean, even being new, you know, they play really good on the road. Um, and, you know, there's no doubt that, that this game is a rivalry. So, you know, both, both teams are going to come in here um and do everything they can can for a win obviously this will be my first experience um but you know growing up in in Kansas City I I always knew um of this game knew of these two schools so you know I'm excited to to be able to be a part of it for the first time and some of the other guys we talked to kind of mentioned just kind of how they were maybe a little bit overlooked by KU in the recruiting game and with you being so close to Lawrence uh, do you maybe feel the same way for sure, without a doubt. Um, you know, I would like to say that that I felt overlooked for a long time by, you know, any the uh, um, FBS program. But you know, being so close to to Lawrence, I always felt that uh, that there was a little bit of of motivation and and not being recruited at all by them. Um, I went to the, went to one camp, um, talked to their coaches there, and and that was it. Um, so, you know, there's, there's definitely motivation in that, um, you know, feeling like I might've been overlooked. Um, but you know, you control what you can control. And, um, you know, if I, if I were to be recruited by them, I wouldn't be able to, to be a wildcat right now. And, uh, you know, my, my path has, has worked out how I'd like it to. Thanks, Bradley. Appreciate it, man. Yep. Thank you. Adam. Riley, you're three and zero in the conference. You stand at the top of the conference and number twenty in the country, and that can give your team kind of a label on their back. And a lot of people say, especially with Kate coming up, that anything can happen in a rivalry game. I know why I just said, Coach Common, make sure you guys focus on one game and one day at a time. But just what kind of does it add to the mindset of knowing that teams are going to start giving more of a their best game at you now that you're ranked at the top of the Big 12? Um, you know, in a conference like this, you know, we, we even though we're, we're towards the top, tied for first, whatever it is, um, you know, we still are preparing like we're underdogs. Um, you know, no matter who we're playing, we're taking it one day at a time, um, just trying to stack as many good days as we can throughout the week and, and worry about today instead of worrying about Saturday because, you know, there's a lot of room for improvement before then um but you know it's it's just stacking each and every day um getting better each and every day and, and not worrying about rankings not worrying about any of that just you know one one game at a time um one day at a time that's our mentality and and it's worked this far and no matter who we play on saturday with whether it is you know this rivalry game that's how we're going to continue to approach it last one here mitchell Hey, Briley, um, Coach Kleiman was telling us that, that Skyler made it back out to practice. Just how cool is it to see him? He helped out with the quarterbacks. Just how cool is it to see him getting back out there and still helping out the team? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's great. And, you know, I think the biggest thing, it's, it's great for him um, to be able to be back around the guys. Um, you know, it's, it's good to just have his presence on the field. Um, even though he's not playing, but, you know, he's standing back there. He's helping quarterbacks. Um, he's helping receivers, talking talking through plays and schemes and stuff. Um, but I think just the biggest thing, it's, you know, I've been in that situation. I had a, a injury that kept me out the whole year um, in the first game last season. You know, so I know I know the, the lows that that can bring to you no matter what your situation is. Um, so just being around the guys for me was very helpful. Um, and I can I can just see it in, in him. You know, he's out there and, you know, there's not a second he's not smiling. He's not being positive. Um, I think that just goes to show the, the type of person and, and captain and leader that he is.